The heels of Confederate monuments being toppled, the American Museum of Natural History announced that they are removing a statue outside their front door of President Teddy Roosevelt on horseback, followed by a Native American and a black man. Now, they have they've decided they wanted to do this, not against Teddy Roosevelt, but they'd rather find a, a, a better statue. What's your, what's your feeling about this, Joy? Oh, yes. Well, they can find good statues. They need to look into this further, in my opinion, because there are so many people that, like, I was thinking of um, Christopher Columbus, who is now uh, uh, being challenged as, you know, uh, whether he's appropriate for a statue in the middle of Manhattan. And I think that his coming down uh, off his perch offends Italian-Americans. And so that'll be a problem for us. I'm an Italian-American. But on the other hand, um, I say, why not put somebody who has a better, a better reputation? Why not put Amerigo Vespucci uh, uh, um, statue in the middle of Columbus Circle and make it Vespucci Circle? Uh, Amerigo Vespucci, uh, the country is named after Amerigo Vespucci. So, you know, why not... I don't know. I say honor that. Honor right. Verrazzano. Honor the great Italians who came here and helped this country, rather than somebody who has this horrible reputation uh, that uh, Columbus had. And the, one more point about it. Right. I, I was reading that they were thinking of taking down George Washington. The George Washington, besides being a founding father and a great general and somebody who was so instrumental in this union that we have in this republic, also freed his slaves. So if you're going to take somebody down, take mm. down Thomas Jefferson, who didn't, who didn't free his slaves. No? Sonny disagrees. Well, Sonny, what, no. do you, what do you... Yes, I was no. just about to say, son, go ahead. <laughs> well, well, see, that's the thing. You know, we, we spent, uh, like, $40 million on these statues. Um, I think that you should spend the money on education because I think that's really what the problem here is. What we have been taught, what you were taught, uh, Joy, what I was taught, what Whoopi was taught, probably what Megan was taught um, in our schools was revisionist history. We weren't taught the real history. We were, we were taught that, you know, George Washington right. freed his slaves. He wrote that in his will, but he didn't free his slaves. He actually he spent the last year of his life oh. Re uh, like relentlessly pursuing slaves that tried to um, run away. He was a horrible slave owner. He owned hundreds of slaves uh, at his death. They were not released. Oh, I and you know, we learned he had wooden okay. teeth. Yeah, we, we learned he had wooden teeth. He didn't have wooden teeth. He had in his mouth the teeth of, of his slaves that he had pulled and, and made fake oh. dentures, right? Uh, consisting of the teeth teeth of his slaves who he tortured. And so why should there be a monument to George Washington? Because he was a terrible slave owner while he was a founding father. Um, we were, we, th this type of history was hidden from people. And I only learned about it when I took African American history when I went to college. I, I, I learned the same history you learned, Joy. And so I think rather than put up these monuments to these men who may have been you know, our founding fathers, right. they, they I... certainly were, were flawed right. men to, to my ancestors. Right. And so I, I, I think that Man, we should I, I, spend they, that money they, on they... educating people. They hey, also Megan, told us that George your... Washington never told a lie. Even as a child, I knew that was ridiculous. Yeah. Right. So, <sighs> Megan, you think this goes, these, <laughs> the monument removal is going too far? I was actually interested to hear where everyone stood, and I do think, obviously, we have very different perspectives on this. And I just don't understand the emphasis on people like George Washington when Yale, who is named after Elinhu Yale, was a famous not only slave owner but slave trader, quoted the extraordinary slave trader by the Wall Street Journal. New York City is named after James Duke of York, who founded and ran a slave trade monopoly that, quote, shipped more African Americans to the Americas than any other institution in the Atlantic slave trade. So by this logic, New York City needs to be renamed and so does Yale, among all the other histories we can go back. This is, we're talking about 250 years of history that is incredibly <coughs> problematic, incredibly dark, and we have learned from it. In my home in, uh, well, here in, yeah, yes? No, no, go ahead. Are we done? I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. 
No, no, go ahead, go ahead, man. I don't, I don't remember what I was gonna say, it's okay. <clears throat> you were saying in your home. I, okay, I, I don't know how much time we have and I have a lot to say, so why don't we take a break and come back? We'll be right back. We were talking about monuments being taken down and you were about to say something, Megan? Yes, yeah, so we were talking about the Teddy Roosevelt statue being removed outside of the Natural History Museum, and I was talking about how New York City is named after James Duke of York, who shipped more African slaves to the Americas than any other institution in the Atlantic slave trade. Yale is named after an extremely famous slave trader. So there's many institutions, many statues throughout history we can go through that are problematic, that are going to be insulting, that are from a time from up to 250 years ago, if not longer, that represent things we don't like. I think the question I have is how far does this go? Are we talking about removing Mount Rushmore if we don't like our founding fathers? Are we talking about removing Robin Williams' character from Night at the Museum, the children's movie that he portrays Teddy Roosevelt? <coughs> These are no, questions I no, think many people are no. asking. It, it does, Whoopi, it does. And I'm, this is a very serious issue no, no, for a no, lot of people because no, it, I, 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 I just was going to finish speaking, but it's okay. That, that, Okay, I just wanted to point out that they are not protest. The, the museum itself is not protesting Teddy Roosevelt. They're protesting the fact that he's sitting on a horse with the other two folks behind him. That's what they're trying to. And not I think him. They're not protesting remove, Roosevelt. I think my opinion was that they should remove the statues behind him of the Native American. And I don't know if that's. I don't know that other figure. I assume it's a slave. They should remove those, but leave the statue of Teddy Roosevelt in and of itself. I love the Museum of Natural <coughs> History. All of the taxidermy inside where children learn about animals was hunted by him. I, I am confused. Over the weekend, my what I was saying in the last segment is my husband and I collect art from an artist called Steve Penley which is all patriotic art and a lot of founding fathers and people throughout history. And we have a painting of Teddy Roosevelt in our home. Would you be uncomfortable if you saw this painting of Teddy Roosevelt in my home at this point? And we are entering a, a phase right now that I'm not entirely comfortable with when we're going to completely eliminate all people who had anything to do in American history with something that's problematic. Because again, we should start with the naming of Yale in New York City if we're gonna do that. Well, I think probably. Can I say something? Because these yeah. were all. I, I just, yeah, let me just get my little stuff out. You know, because I think right. that it is problematic because this is all, these statues have been put up and no one's talked about them. So this is the first conversation. And again, no one is faulting Teddy Roosevelt for anything. They just want to remove that particular statue because of the way that it is sitting. I don't think they can take the Native American and the, and the African away from there. I don't think they can separate it. And also, like they pulled down in San Francisco a Ulysses S. Grant statue which, you know, Grant, like Lincoln, married into a family that had slaves. Grant owned a slave for a year, and then he freed him at the, on the eve of the Civil War. He also was one of the people that fought the KKK as attorney general. So there are, pro there are problematic things all with all of these. But now we're all in the conversation about them, and I think that's what makes this different. All of, all of these were put out by folks who are not affected really by it. It looked really heroic, and now folks who are affected say, we want some of our heroes to participate in this. I think that's what this is really all about. And so I, I want more people to do their homework, because to, to, you know, they're all flawed people. Some more than others, but Ulysses S. Grant, he's, he's not one you gotta pull down. You just, you know, you just do a little homework, you'll see he's a little bit different. In any case, Joy, go ahead. I forgot what I was gonna say. It's okay. Can, can oh, I, God. Can I we'll add something? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Oh. Oh. The timing today, um, just, I hear the you know, music. I, I, again. I think it goes to, I think, again, it goes to education, right? Um, and I can understand why people feel threatened and uncomfortable about tearing things down. Because if you've been taught your entire life that this is your history, that this is something that you should be proud of, you've been taught somehow that this is your heritage and you've been taught of your superiority, um, but 
uh, and that superiority is based on the, um, allegate, the alleged inferiority of others, um, there is a tension there. And um, unfortunately, again, it's we this revisionist balance. history that so many of us have been taught. And I think it really lies, the solution lies in education. Because if you are taught that George Washington is not the person you thought he was, if you are taught perhaps that Roosevelt is not the person you thought he was, or Grant is not the person you thought he was, or General Lee is not the person you thought he was, I think you would think twice about having a statue of him up in a park or of him in your home. Now and we so, do have to you know, it's it's a it's. It's based on all of us educating ourselves well, and our government educating do you think, us. I am curious, though, like, if you saw, yes. like, are you uncomfortable with Mount Rushmore? And I'm genuinely just curious because my opinion is so juxtaposed clearly with the rest of the show. But, like, Sonny, at what point do you think it is too much? Like, do you think that we should add someone to Mount well, Rushmore? Do you think we should be removing all of our founding fathers' statues everywhere? I'm just curious because, again, my, my I have a Teddy Roosevelt painting in my home. So I'm completely on the other side of this.